How's everybody doing? And thanks for tuning in to Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, buses, bicycles, tricycles, unicycles, snowboards, hoverboards, anything in between like what we have here. A nice, clean, vintage 2018 Super Duty. I don't get to see the 18s uh, all that often anymore. I love to see one very clean and well-maintained like this one with a couple of real nice upgrades here we got at Wicked Warnings. First thing you might notice is those fancy headlights. That's a Morimoto XB headlight. It's a full projection headlight with a sequential turn signal. Now, the four-way hazards are on the truck right now, so that's why you're seeing both of those headlights do that thing. That's not anything we did. The headlights come that way, and if you wanted to get some more informo information on that, we'll link to those Morimoto headlights in the description. We also have, right below that, a Morimoto fog light upgrade, the full LED fog light upgrade as well. Now, I will say, out of the box, because this truck was lifted, both headlights and and fog lights needed to be aimed out of the box i had to dip the headlights down your results may vary but don't forget to aim them right next to them in the upper corners you'll see a sound off m power three inch amber white i like that mounting it's tight up in the corner of the grill about as high and wide as you can get and is nicely protected by the uh, grill itself we chose an inner cycle pattern with one of the lights being on the alternate color that's what you get when you synchronize them in the intercycle pattern. Again, one of them being alternate color. That's all we did for the forward warning on this particular truck. This truck is for our good friends at Top Quality Roofing, recent client that we just took on. And for the most part, this will be how the vehicle is probably going to be sitting on the side of the road. He'll be running his four-way flashers as well as the emergency lights. If they're on the side of a public roadway, taking a look at a roof or doing some kind of service while they're doing their job. And now I just threw the headlights on just to show you what they look like. I'm not sure if you've ever seen a set of headlights like this. Here, a little closer shot for you. It's pretty cool the way that they use the ring as the turn signal. There's no proper turn signal in the center of the light like the factory used. Uh, there's a couple different styles of Morimoto lights. If this isn't your flavor, they have a different version. And, of course, they have them for 2020 and up trucks as well. Now, the one thing I'm going to mention before I show you the back of this truck is in relation to our auto flasher module, which normally flashes the C-rings or the DRL, which you can see here is on in the parking light. Without the four-way flashers, you get the classic white DRL. Being that Morimoto has a dual color here and they have the turn signal input inhibit the DRL, we don't recommend using our auto flasher at this time with these headlights. Uh, I don't want to screw around with Morimoto's electronics. And uh, if you want to play with them on your own, feel free. But we're not going to promote or recommend it because we just haven't had enough time to screw around and play with it. Um, so just a quick note on that. Alrighty, as a pan around to the side of the truck, you can see we took advantage of that badge on the front fender like I really like to do on almost every Super Duty 2017 and newer that comes in here. I'm going to link a video right now to how we put that light in that badge, just in case you were wondering. And that's our Thin X light. We have that light in every color combination and as well as a solid amber as you see here. Now, any of the color combinations that we have, such as red, white, blue, white, amber, white, the white is also a flood and it's selectable. So if, if you chose an amber white thin X, you don't necessarily have to flash it amber and white. You can flash it only amber, as you see here, and have the white as a work light flood override if you'd like. And that holds true for all of the thin X, green, white, purple, white, blue, white, red, white. So you can get a solid color. Or if you'd like, you can also flash the white. You can flash both white and the solid color or either one. It's totally your choice. This light in this truck, we didn't have a need for a flood feature. It's a truck that works during the day. So we just went with an amber, amber thin X and uh, put it in the batch there. As you see, that's a 75 FPM split pattern. It's uh, one of the first few patterns and very effective. Here you can see a little bit better how that light kicks back on a 45 angle and really covers the rear of the truck. Very easy mounting location. Run the wiring right forward into the inner fender and over to the auxiliary switches. This truck is being powered off of factory auxiliary switch number six through one of our fuse taps so we can put a five amp fuse because that's all the system needed was a five amp fuse. And uh, that way we have all the protection we can get from that fuse system. Now the number six auxiliary switch from the factory has quite a high rating. So I don't recommend hooking up directly to it unless you need that high of a rating. I do recommend using one of our fuse kits to 
connect to the end of the number six wire to allow you to put in whatever fuse, mini fuse you want. We give you an assortment. And uh, as I said, this system is running on a five amp, which is far more protective of the system than running it on that very large factory fuse. Here's another shot that really illustrates the brightness of that thin X as you're approaching the rear of the truck. Camera is about six feet away from the rear tire, pretty much uh, straight sideways of the rear tire right now by about six feet. And that's what we're seeing. And already, as I pull back even further, I'm approximately 10 feet from the corner of that rear bumper back here with the camera. And you can see the badge definitely still very visible. You can also see our hideaway duo inside the factory reverse light. Now I have a picture that shows you where to drill to put that hideaway duo in there. Now that lens is a dual lens. Uh, it, it, uh, it has two layers of plastic, but it's very easy to drill. Um, it's not necessarily a separation between the layers. They're kind of right on top of each other. So it's thicker than the average lens, but easy enough to drill. And you will need to seal that up with some RTV silicone because it's not an even mounting surface. Where you put the bulb in, it, uh, it kind of sits on an angle and you have to seal it up with RTV. It's the only way to get this effect in these reverse lights, but it works well. As you can see there, we've used an amber hideaway dual, and I prefer the HD version because it reaches deep into the lens. You feel free to use an Echo Haw as well. Either one will work. This particular truck, we went with the Haw Duo simply because it was closer from when I grabbed it out of the shelf. <laughs> Otherwise, honestly, either light works just the same and equally as great. And you can do them in whatever color you like, as long as it's amber or white. Now, if you wanted other colors, green, red, purple, you can use the low dome lens. Don't be shy. You can still use it and it works 90 for 90% as well as this one. It's just when you have the option of a higher dome lens with a thicker outer shell like this one, if you have the option, it's nice to grab it. And uh, you can get just a little bit edge, a little bit more punch out of it with the high dome. But again, if you want a green strobe or a purple or a red or a blue, that would be a low dome haw duo. And no problem, it'll work perfect in this application. So you can pretty much have all the colors you want in this reverse, whether it be white, amber, red, blue, green, or purple. We have all six colors to suit whatever need you might have. All right, so I'm going to put all of the parts that I used on this vehicle, except for the headlights and the fog lights, into a bundle. If you want the headlights and fog lights, you can email us and we'll get them for you on a separate purchase. But we don't stock them regularly, especially for an 18, so we'll have to order those in. Now, as far as what you're going to get, if you have a 2018 and you like this build and you want to repeat it, all right, first thing is paramount that you have halogen taillights. If you have factory LED taillights, you cannot drill the holes for the hideaway. So if you are a Platinum or a Limited or a King Ranch, this package is probably not for you. You can use the front if you'd like, but the rear is not going to work. Now, if you are a Lariat like this one with the regular incandescent taillights, which are easy to spot because you can see the bulb in them. I mean this bulb right here. If you have this bulb, you have the incandescent taillights. If you have fancy radar in here, it's going to be a lot harder to do this as well. You want the regular base model taillights with the two incandescent brake light bulbs and the incandescent reverse bulb. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a hideaway duo HD amber, just what I used here in the package. We're also going to put 30 feet of 18.5. That's going to allow you to extend that hideaway duo up the driver's side frame, up behind the driver's fender to the auxiliary switches. Gives you all five wires. You can use all the functions. You won't need to use the yellow wire or the white wire. The blue wire will set your pattern and the red and the black turn it on. So again, the white wire and the yellow wire are unneeded in this instance, but we provide it to you anyways as part of the package. In the badges, we'll have one thin X amber amber on each side. We're also gonna provide you 25 feet of 20 2-5 for that thin X light. That's going to allow you to extend each of those thin X from the badge itself over to the auxiliary switches. Now in the front, you're going to get two three inch M power amber whites. You're also going to get a package of primer promoter. Please use the primer promoter. Clean the area well and use the promoter. Let it dry thoroughly and then apply the light. You'll have a much better, much longer lasting bond that way. We're going to give you another 25 feet of the 22-5 to extend those grill lights over to the auxiliary switches. We're going to give you some extra wire there because the way we do it, we just leave about three feet of wire 
maybe two feet, coiled up behind the grill. And that way, if you want to take the grill off, you don't need to cut wires or do anything like that. It, it is a five conductor wire, so it's kind of an elaborate plug to put on, and it's really not necessary. If you leave about 24 to 36 inches on each one of these lights coiled up, it's very easy to clip the zip tie, uncoil it, take the grill off, set it down on either the top of the engine or down on the ground in front of the bumper, and that way you don't have to separate any wiring because the lights are mounted to the grill and they will be removed with the grill and it's a 22-5 on each light so we're going to extend those up to the auxiliary switches and that's where you'll make your synchronization you will synchronize these lights you'll select your pattern and if you want to take advantage of another feature on this light like the white flood you could at that time too we're not using it but it does have the white flood feature uh, the empower light has a very very good pattern set with a lot of options you can certainly take advantage and do more with more switches than you can with this speaking on the switches this truck has factory auxiliary switches so i'm not going to provide a rocker switch but i am going to provide a fuse kit one fuse kit for switch number six because that's how i did this vehicle if you want to use a different switch go ahead there's no problem there i still recommend using the fuse kit and as i said this system right now is running on a five amp fuse we're also going to throw in some uninsulated butt connectors <laughs> butt connectors uninsulated ones preferred because those are going to be used underneath the adhesive lined heat shrink we're also putting in an assortment of eighth and three sixteenths and quarter heat shrink to help you make your connections at the 18.5 to the haw duo at the 22.5 to the thin x and at the 22.5 to the m power okay that's going to help you insulate and waterproof everything through this whole system so being said, all of that will be in the kit. If you're interested in the headlights and the fog lights, drop an email to us after you make the purchase of this kit and we can special order them for you. But that's what's in this bundle. This is the instructions. I have no more to offer. There's no secret anything more or no other information as far as how it's installed. Those lights on the grill, pretty easy. Just drill a hole, stick them in place. Uh, they come right out uh, behind the grill. The wiring's very easy to find. This is all of the knowledge that I have for this particular build. I will tell you for a novice installer, I'd leave a full day to mess around with this. Give yourself enough time to run all the wiring nice and keep it tidy, especially if you're gonna mess around with the headlight swap. Uh, a good mechanic could probably pull this off in six hours or less. The average install that we found is about an hour per light. And this truck has six flashing lights, two in the front, two in the back, and one on each badge. So six to eight hours is relatively average for this install as far as getting it in and doing it correctly, making all the connections nice. Uh, definitely you want to take your time and do a good job. We're also going to throw the zip ties in there. So just throw the zip ties in there and uh, we'll do it that way. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video, hung with me this long. If you like this knowledge and you appreciate the extra long videos, drop a comment. If you think I need to cut it down a little bit, take a look at some of our shorts. Uh, we definitely have trying to put in some of our smaller, quicker videos. So if you see that red S on the YouTube, that's a short, and uh, that might suit your fancy a little bit better. Thanks again for tuning in to Wicked Mornings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, buses, bicycles, tricycles, unicycles, wheelchairs, snowboards, hoverboards, jet skis, boats, golf carts, forklifts, wood chippers, and beautiful, nice, clean 2018 F-250 Lariat Power Stroke Diesel Super Duty by Ford, like you see here. And I'm a fan of red. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to check the link in the description for this package.